Hi, everybody. I had a thought yesterday that came to me during a very strange day I had. And for January 1st, 2016, I figured I'd try as best I could to put these thoughts into a video. I totally understand the video is not very high quality. I understand I look kind of goofy leaning over my little phone. But if I don't start doing this sometime, I'll never get it done. So I'm going to make unprofessional looking videos, but I want to get my points across. And hopefully someday somebody else can see this when I feel comfortable with it. Anyway, getting back to today's topic. Time. Today's topic is time. Yesterday I was giving it some thought and it just popped in my head out of nowhere that we can control time. We can control the speed of time in our lives. Time can be sped up in your life, during your day, during the hour. You have that control. Time can be slowed down incredibly. And you have that control too in your life. I know this sounds kind of strange. I might even sound a little bit crazy. But why do we hear things like, that was a long day I had today. Or, boy, today just flew by. These are feelings. When you've said these things and you have said them yourself, these are feelings you have inside that it really was a long day. Or it was a very short day. Things just gone. People say also that the older they get, the faster time travels. I'm reading from the back of an envelope. And that's kind of true, isn't it? When you were a kid, a summer off of school in first grade seemed to last a year. It was so long and so many things were done when you were six and seven years old during a summer. There were adventures. There were weeks, two long weeks where lots of things were happening and it just seemed to go on forever. And when it was over, you were just so sad. And when you're in, you know, senior in high school, your summers seem to fly by as quick as possible. And then off to college we go, faster, speeding up, run, rabbit, run. Well, all of these ideas that we have, these thoughts that we have, they have a true root in reality. And the true reality is that our reality and our perception of reality can be altered to the point where time can be changed. You can make a long day and you can make a short day if you choose. I'm a proponent of making long days, of having accomplishments during your day, making a day seem like it was quite long and just very amazing and a wonderful, special day. Let me explain how you can make, uh, you can alter time. Here is basically the answer to it. You can have time extended by the amount of things you do. The more you do during your day, the longer the day is. And I'm not talking about a stopwatch at a track meet. That time, the measuring of time, cannot be altered. Quantum physics and astrophysics aside, that time passage can't be altered. What I'm talking about is your reality, your perception of the reality that we call reality can be wildly operate, uh, altered by the amount of things you do in a day. Um, let me give you some examples of this. And I think it's really an interesting point. I know it might not be coming across as impactful as it felt to me when I first you know, had this thought in my head. But the more you think about it, it's the more you do is the more time you have. Like the old saying, you need something done, ask a busy person. Why? Because a busy person is doing a lot of things and they get things done. A lazy person, they have all this time. Your perception of our side, if you're busy, that they have a lot of time, they don't get anything done regardless. And you give them something to do, you think, well, he's got very little on his plate. We'll give Bob this job to do it and Bob just inevitably won't get it done. But the guy that's working really hard and getting a lot of things done in their life or 
setting goals and accomplishing them, you can throw in something else. You know why? Because he's got a longer day than you do. And not talking about the actual clock hours. They could both get up at 8 o'clock and they could both go to sleep at 10 o'clock. But in that 14 hours, Jimmy gets 40 things done and Bob gets three things done. And at the end of that day, Jimmy's going to look back, hopefully with a smile on his face and a sense of joy of what he did, and say, you know, wow, this is a long day, but it felt great. I got a lot of things accomplished. And Bob is going to say, wow, this day just flew by. I don't know where the time went. Well, the time went, and this is the key, your perception of time is based on your memory and your thoughts for the day. And if you don't have a lot of things accomplished, if you're not doing much, you're not going to remember much. You're not going to sense that there was a really, that there was 14 hours for you to deal with. There's 14 hours, a beautiful God-given opportunity on top of the planet here, alive during our brief period of this existence. And Jimmy took advantage of it and Bob didn't. And what I'm saying is, you can live a longer life no matter how many years you live. You can live, a person that lives 60 years can live a lot longer life than someone that lives 90 years. It's based on not how long on the clock you live, it's what you do with it. And it breaks right down to the, the day and even smaller increments, hours. Let me give you an example of, of this. Let's say you woke up in the morning, you got some coffee, you went on the internet and you looked at basically unimpactful, worthless things. You have some kind of internet addi addiction. You want to take a look at stuff. So you're looking at stuff on the internet and reading news and whatnot. And at the end of the day, you're like, where did the day go? I didn't really get much accomplished. But rather than that, if you were to have created a list for yourself and check through the list of all the things that you did that were impactful for you, that would help you in your life not watch someone else's life on the news or on some sporting event, but actually do something for you and take care of yourself and get things accomplished, you would A, feel wonderful, but you'd also feel that sense of, ah, I had a long day today, I, had, I got a lot done, this was, this was a special day. Every day can be like that for you, within reason. Now look at the other person. If you were to get up and just, like I said, watch the internet or watch, a t watch some TV, um, you know, get a late start, kind of walk around with no real intent. And then, let's say you, you decide, I want to take a nap. And you take a four-hour nap. And you get up and you feed your dog and go for a walk or watch another show. And you're tired again and you take another nap. And you've taken, this is a bit extreme, let's say you took six hours of nap during that day. You would look back on that day like it went like that. It went like that. So, when you say you don't have enough hours in the day, you really do. You can stretch time just by setting your goals early in the morning or even better the night before because then you can think about them and then the next morning you look at your goals and you rewrite them and start pecking off that list of things you want to do. And if you don't want to be that controlled, if it's your weekend off, just set a few things, you know, things you want to do that are just for fun. And it's okay to take care of yourself and be fun. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, love to see some comments. Bye.